this afternoon's work really is a sort of is a twin track, isn't it? It's both a celebration of some of the stuff that's been done, and we'll be hearing about lots of the work from many of the people who are in this room. But there's also something about how we then take that learning and try and embed it so that we don't lose it. And then also kind of asking the question, you know, what next? Not good enough. How do we do more? This is not job done. This is recognition that there's lots and lots more work to do. This project is really ambitious. And it's not only really ambitious, it was so clearly needed as well. And all the team were very committed to, to, to meeting those needs and to target those needs um, across the whole programme. So the fact that it has multi-strand programme and a multi-strand approach just showed how well informed the design of the programme was. What we do know is that you can't do this work in isolation, in isolation and you do need to do it as part of the whole system. And I think being part of King's Health Partners and seeing, um, you know, basically we've been able to realise the potential of King's Health Partners as an academic health science centre, uh, bringing together the, the, the NHS Foundation Trust and the university. And what I think we've been able to do is bring together all that expertise in a way that means this isn't just doing, it's never just been a research project. It's always been much more than that because what has been really important for all of the team and for our funder is actually, well, research is great, right? But what do you do with it? And that's what's really important. And I hope that what we're able to do and start to do in IMPS is actually think about what have we learnt? What does that mean? How do we embed it into practice? And how do we kind of learn from that? And how do we share that learning with other people? It's been an absolute joy to work in a team that as dynamic as this with the input of everybody here and so many more that aren't with us today. And we would like to know how we can do more of that. And more so because we are part of King's Health Partners. And we know that the network is vast and we know that the opportunity is great. There are a couple of things that we would like to be doing. And what we want to do is establish a core work stream around physical health in mental health settings. And we are doing that with the support and endorsement of the Mind and Body Program and King's Health Partners. We want to use the legacy from IMS to inform that. The thing that cheers me the most, I have to say, is being in another meeting and hearing about physical and mental health being important being relevant, being talked about, being not, you know, oh, we don't talk about, you know, oh, you've got an ulcer, oh, we don't do with that, you know, we're only here to talk about your brain. And that is not right because we are a whole body. So that stretch of that definition about severe mental illness and how we move from psychosis and schizophrenia and really understand some of the vulnerability, whether that's about mother and baby, whether that's about eating disorders, whether that's about wider aspects of anxiety and affective disorders. And I think it just represents really mature thinking. Uh, it's a massive opportunity for South East London to build on the foundations we've already constructed and to genuinely lead the way uh, in correcting the failures of a system that doesn't uh, sufficiently provide holistic care to people and we really ought to exploit the extraordinary expertise we've built up in this uh, part of our capital uh, to genuinely lead the way and to do something that would be internationally significant. Mm -hmm.